Everybody hates California. Just wanted to let you guys know that. Everywhere I travel, from Oregon to Maine, from Florida to Kansas, everyone hates California. And in case you don't know why, we'll look at it. Uh, California is a great place if you're uh, a legal alien, uh, if you want to do drugs and you want a safe place to go shoot up heroin like they have in San Francisco, which is the mecca of libtard scumbags. You know, in California, let me tell you, it's a very, very overrated state. California is one of the biggest scams going in this country next to strip clubs, home ownership, and timeshares. It's just a big scam. Everyone talks about how great California is. But when you move there and you live there, you come to find out how high the taxes are there, how high everything is, rent, your mortgage, your land taxes. Every quarter you get a nice fat bill for $2,600 for taxes just to live in a home that you that, that, that you don't really even own. That, that, that's, that's what the California dream is. 15% of California has nice weather. 15% along the coast. The rest of it is either desert or farmland. You got some forest, you got some mountains, but for the most part, a lot of it's farms and desert. A lot of desert. People would be surprised how big the desert is in California. It, it's literally a, a big, huge desert. And everyone, oh, it's all about California. It's all about California. You know why you say that? Because you don't have a job that pays anything. And you don't really pay any taxes. And you don't own anything. You're just some dumb losers sitting on your dad's couch smoking weed all day, riding your skateboard around town looking to get into some trouble. A lot of these defenders of California, a lot of these people, you know, they like open borders. They like... They like criminal, illegal aliens shooting and killing uh, American citizens, and that's okay to them. That's okay to them. That they love their, they love the the the, the politicians, the local politician scumbags, who have the, the the cares of illegals on their mind more than actual American citizens. Actually, people that were born here. It, it's it's really it's, it's just insane how California. You know where I'm from, which parts of it is really a beautiful state, has just been turned into a liberal cesspool of scumbags. Every time I go there, from Los Angeles up to Stockton, up even up to Reading, I mean just just the the, the unbridled cesspool of the far left leaning weirdos that are controlling California politics. Now, granted. I believe that there, there's got to be at least 10 to 15 million conservative people that's still in California, but it, they're it, they're outnumbered by insane liberals, insane liberals, crazy, insane morons. Do you know how many people work hard in California? And maybe they don't have the best job. Maybe they're, maybe they work at a supermarket. Maybe they're a security guard. Maybe they drive a truck and they wish that they could escape, escape California and they can't. Maybe their health isn't the best. They're stuck in their house or they're underwater. You know, it, it, it's, it, it's just, it's mind numbing how many people have, have told me about them just wanting to escape California and that they wish they could be like me where they could just up and leave. It, you know, what once was, you know, the land of fruits and nuts in relation to farms really now is the land of fruits and nuts, which is unrelated to farms. <laughs> you know, a, a, anyone who defends California, oh, you're a hater, oh, this or that. Okay, maybe you make a really good living. Maybe you work in Silicon Valley. Maybe you just, maybe you just, you have a really good job. And quite possibly, you benefit from cheap labor from poor brown people from countries down south. Because that's what you guys like. You guys, all you elitist, leftist weirdos, cuck boys, you benefit off of poor, uneducated brown people working for you 
cheap labor. An abundance of cheap labor and you love it. A long time ago, the Democrats said, if we don't have slaves, who's gonna pick the cotton? Who's gonna pick the, the pick the fields? And nowadays, Democrats say, oh, if, if we don't have uh, illegal aliens, uh, who's gonna pick the fruits? Who's gonna pick the nuts? All over again, all over again. 